Out there in the vastness of space, there is one Lantern Corps you do not want to engage in a fight. And no, I am not talking about the Yellow Lantern Corps. This is the precise reason why we have the Red Lanterns. However, I want us to explore one unique character from the Corps. This video is all about John Moore and how he came to be a part of the Red Lantern Corps. My name is Benjamin Dover and this is Comics Book. Grab some popcorn, pick up a soda, and just relax for a bit. We have so much to talk about. Our story begins on planet Earth, precisely in small Octon, England, in a small home where we find two individuals who, by the looks of it, they are having a heated argument. This is Raymond and John, they are brothers. Ray did something that potentially caused the death of someone they both know. The police pulled up to their house. They knock at the door, demanding that Ray answers to the door. Minutes later, a red power ring is seen as it enters Earth's atmosphere, back on the ground. The police gets a hold of Raymond. John is standing there, unable or afraid to intervene, one might ask. Raymond tries to fight back. He elbows one of the officers on the nose. In retaliation for his actions, the police is forced to beat his ass. This looks a lot like the Rodney King video, no pun intended, regardless of the situation. The officers were not their usual self. Could it be a side effect of a red power ring in proximity? Massive blows land on the head of Ray as he lays on the floor. He lets out a faint scream once his skull splits open. There is blood all over the floor. No one's came to help that day. The officers leave the area. John finally moves toward his brother, his eyes dripping wet, tears falling down his cheeks. He can't help himself but feel miserable. John feels it bubbling up in his chest. An unstoppable torrent. A surge of rage and self-loathing takes a hold of him. That's when the ring chooses John Moore as the newly appointed member of the Red Lantern Corps. And finally, after 20 years, John Moore contains his rage no more. John becomes Rancor. This is probably one of the most fantastic Red Lanterns ever created. Not only that, but he has an awesome costume design. And don't get me started on the burning flame on his head. He walks toward his brother, and the police comes back. They start beating on him, but that does not phase him at all. Man, what's is it with the cops in this town? Rancor will soon join the Reds up in space. Thank you.